in a gray Wisconsin winters, we needed something mood elevating. And when I went to my local drugstore and walked down the center aisle and noticed that there were colors that I wasn't seeing outside or anywhere, and I saw peeps. And I toyed with the idea about how to have a peep show and not make it sound obviously bad. But after tinkering with it for a while and coming up with suggestions of how we could create something that was national and universal and family friendly and fun, we launched it and had 39 entries the first year. This year we have 138 pieces by 211 participants. So you must have a peep, either the little chick or the little bunny, in your piece, or an image of it, because it's sometimes not easy to work with marshmallow. I loved the year that one of the nurses did a piece called colonoscopy peep, and it was an actual little peep on the surgery table. But like a mother, I can't declare which child is my favorite. I love them all for different reasons. The peeperama has not been done before, and everybody who looks at it said that it would be wonderful if there was such a thing. The Fun House is a great piece, made by an artist who was playing with peeps in front of the microwave, noticed the peeps could be manipulated, and she came up with that. I like the fact that we got three Bernie Sanders meme pieces, all with Bernie sitting in the chair, one of them with actual cross-stitched mittens. I think they're all clever, the political to the simple kid ones. The winner of this exhibition gets bragging rights, and not only for a year, but for a peep eternity.